Good evening, everyone. Welcome to podcast number seven. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Seven. Seven. Lucky number seven. How is everybody? Seven. Yeah, not too Doing bad. good. All right. Not too Gucci gang. Bit stressed, but I'm 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 all right. Just so everybody knows, th this is Kay. He's been missing for a little while, but yeah, Who? um, he, he's he's back. I've been. I haven't been streaming for a, for a fortnight. Yeah. I, I'll be, I'll be <laughs> I thought Santos day, joke two minutes ago was bad. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. sorry I'm what do you mean? I'm, not, I'm losing got a my touch. Joking. Like a minute in. Yeah, okay, I'm losing no. my touch. I need to go live again. I need to. I need to. Um, need cellist. Yeah, yeah, I need cellist to calm me down stuff. again. Hashtag not cellist pun. Hashtag not cellist pun. Jealous is the pun master. He oh, is. Fuck yeah. Truly is. But yeah, how have you guys been? No bad, no bad. Been, no bad. been chilling, killing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Weather's taken a very, very nasty turn over here, so it's just been fucking miserable outside, to be honest. Oui. Really well, yeah, weird, it, it was there. really, really hot a couple of weeks ago, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was. It was lovely. Well... It was horrific for me, because I don't know if you know, I've got the hottest room in the house. Pretty much everything you can do to make this room really hot, is, is, it's been done. Basically, okay, then... I've, I've, my room is like, the, the sun kind of sets behind me. Mm -hmm. So naturally in the afternoons, I get the sun going through. I've got dark blinds, which of course, because they're dark, the sun absorbs it and brings more heat in. I'm running a live stream with my computer, which is quite hot. Um, so I don't cause noise while streaming. I keep the door shut, but the window open. So that makes my room really hot. We've also got a conservatory outside, which bounces the light and the heat off of it up into my room as well. So I'm pretty much just in an oven. Oof. It gets hot in here as well, to be fair. But... Honestly, I mean, it's just the computer being in here all the time. Mm. The sun is the same same issue. Mm. So, um, yeah, it gets very hot in here as well, especially live streaming for a good long while. Oh, fuck, yeah. Yeah, it'll... it'll it's yeah, like the... Fucking horrible. So the, the, I, I, don't, I don't mean this to be a streaming room one-upsmanship contest, but, like, <laughs> the majority of this room's just fucking window. So it all just yeah. comes in and stays, like, it's still... It's still warm in here from a couple of weeks ago where the heat just hasn't fucking left. <laughs> while you're streaming, while completely nude, like you've got like people outside walking the dog, just like looking in. Oh yeah, mate, like, I had my uh, naked man like playing Guitar Hero. Last stream I was on, I had my nipples out and covered them with uh, some Fire Exit Man stickers and nice. neighbors room full view. But I don't give a shit. It's promotion, <laughs> you know, supporting a homie. Nice. Got to do what you got to do. Exactly. Exactly. Indeed. How are uh, how are you doing today, Doki? I'm okay. I am pretty exhausted. It's been a busy, busy day. Um... Why, Doki? I've noticed something incredible. What is that T-shirt you are wearing? <laughs> that plug, <laughs> love it. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I like <laughs> I have I have new merch that released two hours ago. Um. Spent spent a fair bit of time on it. Uh, got a trailer made by the wonderful Ed, um, and a close friend of mine, Ryan. Uh, we spent a bit of time put that together, and we've launched some new merch. I say launched some new. There's four new designs, and your dick is staying. Um, we have okay, it's staying. Thank you. Mm, talk nicely to me. Um, <laughs> so we've got the squat one. We have Yadik, we have Docky Hub, um, Scotland Forever, and we have Docky, but written in Japanese Karakana characters. Um, it's been going pretty well sure so far. It's Docky in Japanese because, like, yep. you never know. It, it it could be it could just say like steak a barcode or something. It's it's, <laughs> it's you know it's, what I mean. I mean yeah. Have you seen those? They're like like they're, some people get like tattoos of like stuff. And they're like, oh, it means peace. It means, you know, solving world hunger. When it actually like means my dog shat my sandwich. 
Exactly. Yeah. So you want to make sure it's correct. <laughs> but I, it, people it, are going to be laughing at you if you ever go to Japan. It does read like Doki, but it's like Do is the top character and Ki is the bottom character. Mm-hmm. Um, it's Doki. Yeah, Doki Doki Literature Club. Exactly. Doki Doki Morning. Um, but yeah, uh, it's been going pretty well. We have sold four T-shirts so far. Um, it's only been up for a couple hours. Nice. Um, Good shit, man. Be, be pretty nice to see how things go. Um, I do see someone in chat mentioning Raid. Shadowlin, shall, shall I just plug this one now? Raid, do you mean the way you can link hard drives together, Omega lol? Oh boy. The, jo- the jokes are dry tonight. Um, <laughs> so, proud. another thing um, that's coming up. Um, I have a lot going on right now. Um, we have a, a charity. Log. Oh, what? You've got a log. Yeah, that's what I heard. Um, big, big log. We oh god, that sounds. <laughs> um, got a charity stream that's coming up. Just what I told you the other day as well. Wait, what? Oh no! Let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about that, Xantor. That is messed up. This sounds. Uh, I'm, I'm curious. I'm very curious. Me and Kay uh, wanted to know now. Hey, I I told Doki what a Vietnamese landmine was the other day. If you don't know what it is, Google it. Don't oh, no, Google exactly it. it Do not Google it. Google it. Just... Urban Dictionary. Shall Google we it. shall we include that as one of the tags for tomorrow? <laughs> Vietnamese <laughs> landmine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll let you. Uh, I'll let you do the optimization for that one then. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, we have a charity live stream coming up at the end of the month 24 hours to raise money for St. Columbus Hospice uh, I won't go into Sorry. details as to why we're raising money and blah blah blah, you can find that out when you are over in my channel um, I don't want to plug too much here um, but related to the charity stream my mod currently is doing a raid Shadow Legends sponsorship and he has kindly said all the money he raises from that will be donated to the charity so if you do want to help with that, let us know and I can send you links and you could support us that way. That would be awesome. Oh man, um, nice one. So when you were reading that, I, I actually Googled it. <laughs> oh god, oh no. You silly, silly boy. Oh boy. Yeah, sorry. I'm yeah. I wasn't laughing at the charity thing, I was laughing at that, just just so you're aware. Oh no, I, I oh I kinda of felt a bit sick. It's like <laughs> he's Googling it, you can see it as I Oh, I'm just making sure it's what I think it is. There's another one underneath <laughs> called the Yabba Dabba Do. <laughs> <laughs> the other one I know, right, which I didn't mention the uh, other day because I thought we might be going a bit too far, is um, Jenkum. I don't know if you've ever heard of that. Jenkum. J E N K E M. Look that one up as well. Oh boy. That's another another. Guys, we're another like, one. We're like ten minutes around. in, and it's just, it's turned into a complete shit show. <laughs> <That's what you laughs> hey. uh, but yeah um oh yeah that. don't google that I, don't, I, I, don't google I will that. pass yeah um, definitely leave space when he googles it he was just like <laughs> just like in disgust no thank you don't want that in my life <laughs> that's messed up man um <laughs> But yeah, the last thing I've been working on this last week while has been a reacts channel. Um, I've been reacting to a bunch of shit on stream. With what about uh, it's coming? People. Are you going to react to that? I've already reacted to that. I think watching that once was enough because that shit is just. I just like watched it once. <laughs> it's, it's the best documentary I've ever seen. It was pretty funny though. Pretty oh, funny. it was good. It was good. But what it, it, it's the bit that? where he was like, "Yeah, if you get what the I mean." It, it's the way. I nah, can't it's remember. It's not even it. that. It's it's the way oh, well. her fucking just jaw, her jaw just completely, like unaligns for one of the uh, one one of the exhibitions. That's what we all say. want, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. We Secret all want our jaws to align. When mm. something massive goes into your mouth. <laughs> so specific. So specific. <laughs> Talking yeah. about specific, 
there is a specific game you can get completely free on Amazon Prime right now. Wait. For free. Wow. While we're on the topic of sex, we're one follower from 69. <gasps> Just saying. Sex. Continue. Follow oh. 5. Get it on Prime now. Free. If you have Prime. <clears throat> it's free. And it's Battlefield. You can't go wrong. And if you've already got it, or you don't want it, climb the code and give it to a friend. Yeah. It's Christmas. Like me. Come on. Because I don't have Prime. Give it to a not? friend. Not fair. No. I might just do that Christmas. for you, Lou. Like Aww. I did with Battlefield 4. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Um, speaking of games, though, last... Was it yesterday? I'm pretty sure it launched. Um, Back for Blood. Yeah. Back for Blood. I've not personally it played it yet, but it's basically Left 4 Dead free. Pretty much. Probably the best way to describe it. If you mm. played Left 4 Dead 2 or Left 4 Dead 1, then you'll probably like this new game. If it's any good, I haven't played it yet. It, it's weird. There's like a card system in it where like you choose buffs. Okay. So it, it that bit's a little bit complicated in my opinion, but I'm sure you'll 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 have an easy time with it. Let's see what's um, going on. The, the only thing I've noticed so far is the game's a bit easy from when I played it. But oh, okay. that is on like the baseline difficulty. Mm. So there's like survival and nightmare on top of that, so I'm guessing that's gonna make it a bit harder, but So I think the Fidel had a realism mode, if I remember correctly. That mm. made everything really, really difficult. Yeah, I'm not about that. I'm I'm thinking it'll be like that. Anyway, I've only played like a about forty minutes of it, so yeah. But it's really cool. That there's there's quite a bit different um, from the original um, Left 4 Dead games. Like you've got these massive monster things as well. Mm -hmm. So it's not just like special infected or like tanks or whatever. You get colossal beasts, which are almost like mini bosses. Mm. Oh, okay, that's cool. Um, the one thing that really surprised me from it is that. It, the first one you come across, I'm not going to say the name or anything like that, but like, it's in a tunnel. Now, there's a little door to the side, and you think, oh, because he's so big, I'm going to go in this little tunnel and just shoot from him from the inside. He can still get you. <laughs> does, does he, like, he, like s smash yeah, through no, the wall? He, like, not really smash through the wall, but he kind of like leans down and grabs you from like inside. He reaches his hand through mm. the door and grabs you and like yanks you out. Pretty Damn. creepy, but that sounds kind of scary. It's really cool. Uh, it does look good. I uh, it I look forward to it. Because when's it does officially it... out? Is it like October? I think I seen, or is it September? So. It, it's like that, but, yeah. yeah, it's currently um, like in beta, and mm. you can get it by watching an hour of a Back for Blood stream. Um, there know, was a link who would be I streaming gave? back for blood. This guy, M M M M Mr. Gently, Mr. Yeah. Lee, is going to be so streaming for an hour. You'll be able to get yourself a, a beta key that runs up until. Uh, I think it's 10, is it? I think so. I don't know that. It's, it goes on further than the weekend. Mm. I don't know that much. I'll be playing it this week. I was getting some lag spikes, but on my new PC, that won't be a problem. Nice. I haven't actually opened it at all yet, so my first impressions will be in the stream. I've only heard, I've heard good things about it, though, so I'm looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. It is good fun. I don't know if I'll get time to play it, to be honest, which is... Fair play. At least in the beta, anyway. I might get it when it comes out. out. Um... We'll all have to play. Make a gentleman's video of it. Mm -hmm. I'd be pretty big co-op game. Big co-op game. Yep. Be pretty good. I have noticed it's not the cheapest game though. It is it quite high. expensive. Forty nine ninety nine. Oh, it goes. Okay, so early access is August fifth to August ninth, and then there's an open beta from the twelfth to the sixteenth. So if you want right. the earliest time to play it, that is now. If you want to yeah. wait till it's open to everyone, then you wait till the twelfth. And then after that, you kind of have to pay for it after the beta's over. Yes. Yeah. Speaking of the beta being over, okay, 
why haven't you been streaming this month? What's been going on with you? I haven't fancied it, mate. It's been too warm. I know I've been too busy. Life uh, is way too hot, isn't it? Life. Yeah, basically. But yeah, no, yeah, like um, when we had that fucking mad heat wave the other week, like this this room, mm. I just couldn't fucking stay in this room for any longer than like half an hour at a time. Was um, it getting I, to the point where like the floor and the ceiling were just, just like melting? Uh, I'm well, I mean. Melting. I mean, there's a fucking huge crack up there. I'm just assuming that's probably from the heat. Um, I never touch the floor as it is, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm that short. I'm just kind of in the negatives at this point. But um, <laughs> Hang in. And there's enough stuff on the floor that I can't technically step on the floor. So I've been safe from that. But I don't want hot fucking ceiling shit all over my forehead. So... Not lie, the heat makes it extremely hard to play Clone Hero. Oh, I don't know does. what it is. I can play other games sort of roasting where I'm sitting mm -hmm. but when it comes to cloner it's just a bit more effort put into it I think more yeah. movement and stuff so it gets really difficult to play just with Lee mentioning clone hero by the way um, mm -hmm. if we go back to the last was it last week's video yep with, um, a certain someone finished third for the very first time um, which I, I was pretty proud of you for doing that. Like, mm -hmm. Xantor, Odd. what the fuck happened? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happened. Ouch. <laughs> but, d damn. Okay, you... I was actually saying it on stream the other day. Out of the four of us, over the last mm -hmm. year, since we all kind of discovered each other, like, you have made the biggest skill leap yeah, man. out of the four yeah. of us. For sure. Um, sure. I've just been trying to catch up. I've just been trying to catch up. You guys are fucking absolutely mental. You'll overtake me next. Improvement, oh, yeah. gang. Let's go. You're close. Yeah. close to improve, I'll, 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 take the, I'll take the solid third. I'm happy with the solid third. Mm -hmm. Next will be second, and then you'll get a first. You'll get a first one day. One day. I'm calling hey, I'm here. I was going to say, I nearly bested it's you with the way it ends that one time. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> That was that was incredible. I was so like, I'll be honest. I was nervous when I seen that. I was like, wait, wait. <laughs> the thing what, is, I couldn't what? even see it because my chat box was blocking the score, so I didn't realize I was ahead for most of it. No. Fuck. That's just a song I do not get on well with. The way it ends. I can't do <laughs> but, it. Although speaking of multiplayer clone hero, um, just to kind of bring it back a bit to the charity, um. I did pop a message in the, the group chat, but would you guys still be keen on a session of multiplayer during the charity stream if you are free? Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. of what course. day would it be? Friday. 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 So what was that, the 27th? 27th. Friday 27th. 27th. I'm thinking I kind of... What time roughly? What are you thinking? I know you have your dinner at 6. Yeah. So potentially after that, like 7 till 9? Yeah, yeah, that sounds about fine. Seven to till me. eight, seven till nine. Yeah, I, um, I'm fine from like six twenty onwards, basically. Six till about laser. nine. <laughs> Who needs four twenty places? You can do six twenty places. That's all. Yeah, that's, that's two whole blazes ahead. Exactly. Well, two hundred. What? Well, well, yeah, you got. If you think about it, in the four four hundred. Fuck off, man! I can't do numbers. <laughs> well, I mean, it doesn't matter. You're too high to to realise that anyway. So. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. This is my big boy. Been doing Jenkum. That's how you get your highs these I days. I am not googling this. I say that I probably will. Let's be honest. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's interesting. In fact, Xantor, here's a question to go back to all this. Yeah. Where have you discovered this? When I first met you, right, you were a nice, quiet young lad who didn't talk about shit like this, and then all of a sudden you're teaching me shit, and I'm like, what the f has happened? Um, I, uh, to be fair, it's actually from, um, well, not really from, but like, uh, a group of people talk about it, um, and they're called Hat Films. Ah. I don't know if you've heard of them. Yeah. They've talked about it a couple of times in some of their videos. It's kind of like a, I don't know, just some stupid thing. And I kind of learned it from there. But that's the only two I know. <clears throat> Fair and point. that's where. It's just, yeah, as I say, since I first met you, it's, you were nice and quiet. Didn't talk about sex. 
and now you don't shut up about it. It's, it's great. I love it. <laughs> Again, speaking of sex, we're one follower from 69, so draw that follow. Yeah. Please. Hashtag sex. Otherwise, um, it'll die. So. Yeah. From lack of sex. Yeah. We've been playing many thing. games this month. Anything Apex. a bit different? Apex. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing's changed. It's just all Rocket League, mate. It's all Rocket League and oh, the occasional online. I've just been playing Clone Hero, really. To be honest, like I've not really had the time to be doing anything else. Just with like yeah. all the the merch launch, the React channel launch, and the charity stream prep, I've had like very little time. Mm. So it's pretty much just been Clone Hero when I've been streaming. So, I've just been playing American Truck Simulator. A lot. Nice. Been getting a load of achievements on it. After after the Binding of Isaac, I've got like there's just a hole of nothingness now. Because I completed it, and then I'm I'm just like, well, what now? <laughs> it's sort of that sort of thing. Because I was on it every day, any second I could, trying to get something in Isaac, and now I've completed it. There's just nothing to do. <laughs> Get on Power Wash Simulator. I got gifted that yesterday. I've been looking at that. I've heard about it. Yeah. Wow. Apparently, it's pretty good. It seems satisfying. Some people swear by it, so. And I feel like I've got to check it out now. <laughs> also, just to let people know, I am posting a form in the Twitch chat. Um, if you want to ask us a question, feel free to fill that form out. Um, and yes, I deleted the ones we have answered. Oh, good, good. Um, yeah. Round of applause. So we'll probably answer them in, what, 10, 15 minutes, um, just to give Something you guys like some time. But yeah, um, <laughs> apart from that, yeah. I'm exhausted, <laughs> guys, I'm not going to lie. It's been a long day. Someone else is going to have to just take, take lead right now. Because I'm pooped. No. Awkward silence! Yeah. <laughs> what we get for not preparing anything. I mean, we did, but we've spoken about it all. <laughs> <laughs> we should have just slowed our words down, man. In fact, uh, no, we've not. No. We've not actually talked about everything. The first fucking thing I put on the list we've not talked about. Twitch Bloody sub hell. prices! Oh, yeah! <laughs> fuck's sake so that's big that's big if you that don't already know if you are in the uk or i'm i'm pretty sure it's europe right I ireland know, in the uk is it not europe as well uh, i think it just well, said it, it, it's just okay because the tweet said europe yet we're yeah. not part of the eu anymore so does that mean we're not well, part of europe anymore no, no, no. we are still no, part of europe, we are, we are still part of europe. europe is a Maybe continent European Union. right the European Union is a organization. But in in this tweet, they only announced the prices of Ireland and the UK. They didn't say anything else about other European prices. Do you not think? Well, I thought this the other day, right? Do you not think that the name United Kingdom is a bit boring? It's not exactly like Korea, which is like a a, a word in itself. We've just got two words that already existed and just put them together, like United. That's just the word meaning together. And then kingdom, it's just I wouldn't really like call it a United either. You know what I mean? It's The UK is a pretty weak name in, t in the grand scheme of things. Because mm. it's just two regular words smushed together. It's called I mean, it Venezuela is a beautiful country name. It's just, it is. It's got such <coughs> abnormal alphabetical letters. I mean, Britain isn't a word for anything is it britain in it i mean it would be like like you, you know you know uh united and kingdom it would be like saying i don't know it would be like me making a country called king big, sofa or big something duck. like that it just doesn't make sense you know a country called king sofa would be fucking dope <laughs> <laughs> it, be it's honest. just fact, like two random words smushed together shall shall we start a go fund me to buy an island, right? We then process it all and we turn it into a country and call it 
King was it King Sofa? Yeah. Why not? Leave well, a like rating one, if you would Zantor like to see Island. that. I really want Xantor Island. I, I made a, a picture a long time ago of what Xantor Island would be like. It would have a Greg's on it. It would have a Morrison's on it. I it love Greg's. For me, to live in. We'd have a subscriber tower where all the subs would live. In like a big skyscraper. It'd be great. We'd have a KFC. Yeah. I've, I've just... Right, I've just we would an... abolish the DMCA law. <laughs> I've just got this. Uh, you said you said you'd have a subscriber tower where all the subs would live, right? Yeah. I have this image, right? You you've taken over Twitch as a platform. Barely anyone lives anywhere else. Okay, everyone's on Xantor Island. There's famine where there's not enough food to go around. There's no there's no water because everyone's drinking it. Everything's a, an issue, and everywhere else is so sparsely populated that no one can keep up the agriculture and keep society running as normal. That there, there, there's a family shaking in the cold. You know, in like a one-room house, and their kid hits the sub button on his Twitch camera. <laughs> Two armed officers come in and just take him by the arms. His mother's screaming after him. Well, no, that the, they could have the family as well. It's not like you know. It, yeah, but they haven't set up. They well, haven't given uh, you that. Yeah, like Xantor, they're not giving you their money. They do not deserve to live in your country because you're a, di- you're, a, you're a you're a dictator though it's it's it's, it's paradise is what xantor yeah, is going to be but but people have to pay to be on in your country you've literally said like no 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 no, no. no you've just said it's subscribers no, hang on a minute a subscriber tower they've got like the subscribers get like the luxury options everyone else can live in like little houses on the island it's not mm. limited to just the subscribers who can live on the island anyone can live on the island as long as you you know a, Agree to the terms of service or whatever, <laughs> you know. The which anyone, no one's going to read anyway. So no one ever does. That's the point. I love how this is the tangent we went on from Twitch sub prices. Um, <laughs> but yeah, basically what we were saying is in the UK, Ireland, and I'm pretty sure Europe. We're not 100 percent on that. If anybody in Europe can confirm this as well, who's watching just now, please let us know. Uh, subs are no longer five euro stroke five pounds. They are three ninety nine. Tier two is seven ninety nine, and tier three is nineteen ninety nine. So you're saving like a pound, two pound, and five pound on the different tiers now, which is great because it's a kind of lower bar of entry. For subs, yeah, really. Speaking about that as well, um, I, I had like just, you know, Babu. Yes. He he just like casually gifted twenty subs <laughs> the other day, and on top of that, after that, he gifted five tier threes as well. What that the absolute f- mad lad! Okay. <laughs> so I think it's safe to say that the local pricing has uh, arrived for him as well. Damn son, that was pretty mental. That was. So I see someone saying the reasoning. Um, the reasoning. Now, I believe it's because they are an Amer- Twitch are an American based company. Um, they pay in dollars, and Americans would pay say five dollars to subscribe to someone, whereas someone in the UK would pay five pounds to subscribe to someone. Now. Five pounds. In fact, I'll actually just do a quick Google search. Um, five pounds in dollars is it's just short of seven bucks, like seven dollars. Mm-hmm. Um, so people in the UK are actually paying more to subscribe to someone than someone in the US. So it's to make the kind of cost even across the world. I feel. Um, take, take this into account. Ukraine were paying one hundred and thirty. UAH for a sub and now they're paying thirty five ninety nine. So they've gone down like a hundred UAH, however much that actually is, I don't know, but that's a massive discount. That's huge. Um Russia from three hundred and ninety nine down to hundred and thirty. Now Iceland nine hundred to six fifty. Like it's I think it's just to be better a better experience for all viewers and stuff, yeah. people that watch Twitch, because a lot of different are. countries are a lot more expensive than, say, the UK or the US, etc. Which um, is unfair, really. And creators, I don't think, see any of that extra revenue. No. They'll still get the 250 split. 
Yeah. So I think it's just to make everything a bit more fair, I guess, across the world. It's definitely a good move from Twitch because not only will viewers in countries who were paying more, like they'll be able to subscribe a bit easier. Um, yeah. It'll also benefit both creators and Twitch themselves because more people will probably subscribe, thus get them more money, quite frankly. Um, Should have done it years ago, to be fair. Yeah. I mean, I don't know why they, haven't, they, they don't let you sooner. pick your prices like YouTube does. Yeah, that that would be great. Um, I, I don't know why they haven't done that. but Like, I, can you imagine a 99 pence sub? Yeah. That'd be amazing, exactly. quite frank. Like, emotes, like my emotes in particular are just memes basically right it'd be great if everybody could just spam my face everywhere for 99 pence like yeah yeah I mean, well, it's not even that. they've got follower emotes now haven't they yeah i've still not got know. access it's not for everyone yet i think it's in beta or whatever right, right. um a any of you guys got them no yeah. not that i'm aware of Fair. i've got my um extended like uh sub badges now i've got yeah. up to like five year subscriber badges uh, i've got up to four and a half i only noticed that last night <clears throat> Jeez. so I, I spent quite a while upgrading all of mine hmm. so you talk about the prices um it says on this twitch page prices are intended to be equivalent to 3.99 euros taking into account foreign exchange rates it's pretty good to be honest so like, it's cheaper all around. It would be ideal, as you say, if we could kind of choose our own tiers. Um, yeah, you should have been doing it for ages, I think. But let, choose would... your own tiers. No need to cry about it. <laughs> um, you should see as well if you're a streamer in your analytics. There should be a new section that says create a revenue adjustment incentive, and it says, um, they will basically. Adjust your revenue if your actual revenue falls below the baseline, and you stream seventy three on the I, I see this bar that just like refuses to move across, and I just don't. It's because subs have gone cheaper, so like, if you're you're potentially losing money from the subs going cheaper, but if you stream more than seventy three hours, they'll bring it back up to five pounds. So the viewers aren't spending more twitches, basically. Does that make sense? Mm, yeah, 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 I get it. Yeah. I follow. I don't get it. <laughs> Whatever. My brain doesn't weird. understand. They, they it. haven't explained it very well at all. It's all very confusing, but they never explain it anything properly. So, surprise. Speaking about surprises, I've been playing uh, some Clone Hero and uh, getting as many FCs as I possibly can. I think one day I had about 34 in a day. Just oh, going man. like, I know. going for bulk at FCs. So I've been playing through the Rock Band games. Mm -hmm. So Rock Band one, one DLC, two, two DLC, three, and now I'm on the three DLC. Just getting as many as I possibly can. It's crazy. And it must be up to about one thousand five hundred and seventy something now, in total. Damn son. But I'm 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 trying to get up there. I'm trying to trying to get through it and FC as much as I can. Yeah, that's crazy. Good Because there's a leaderboard, um, which I can find now. It's it's basically uh, the FC leaderboard, and whoever has the most FCs in total, um, and you can find that on the Colonial Score Challenge Discord. And at the moment, I'm currently fifth place in the world for the most FC total. Mm -hmm. um, but that, I mean, the thing is, it doesn't really count everyone because you got to submit it to the leaderboard. Mm. So by all means, you could probably be like, I don't know. And if I had to guess, you'd probably be like ninth, which is like seven hundred to a thousand FCs. Um, but yeah, last time I submitted, it was one four two four. Um, but the guy in first place is a guy called Vagu. And he's currently at 6,380 FCs. What the fuck? That's yeah. insane, dude. <laughs> fuck me. Does I he have 22% of what he has. Does he just create charts with, like, two notes in it, FCs it, no, uploads no. it? No. What he, uh, the f... 
I mean, there are a lot of songs. Lot. You must be fucking good at it. Which I, I'm, I, I think is an average of 10 FCs a day if he started from the very day score saving came out. Jeez. Which just shows how much that is. Yeah. So if you were to get 10 FCs every single day, that's at the point he'd be at. He must be good. Or she. Yeah. He, he is good for goo. Mad. The name does ring a bell, but. No. Speaking of bells, I wouldn't say I'm going after it, but kind of am. <laughs> kind of. Got to I've got a couple of hurdles. Man. I've got a couple of hurdles though. Um, the the next the next person is uh, Taka. Taka does stuff. Mm, I don't yeah, know Taka. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's got about one thousand eight hundred at the moment, and I'm up one uh, one five seven. Oh. Well, no, what one five seven zero? So, yeah. So I've got about two hundred FCs until I've catched up. Ach, of course, uh, it's like a I'll week's worth up. of work, right? Well, uh, on an average weekend, I get about thirty to forty FCs. Damn. And that's Damn. an average weekend. Um. And then I do an FC day as well on Tuesday. Mm. And the FC day, I get about 30 on that as well. I'll be honest, I'm waiting for the, the main build to come out before I uh, start posting on like Score Spy and stuff. Like, Well, yes. I mean, yeah, I know what you mean. Like, at the moment, it only supports version 23. Yeah. So, it's annoying, because whenever I do a multiplayer day, I upgrade just for that day, and I downgrade again, just to, you know, go for FCs and stuff. That's fair. Question time, guys. Yeah, oh, we've got about for 15, 15 minutes left. How many questions do we have? We have 12. So there, well, have, been, there okay. have been nine questions right. submitted since I posted but, the form. But here's the question, though. Um, how many of those have we previously read out? None of them. Because yeah, I know me. usually you don't delete them. I, I literally them said there. that about 20 minutes ago that I have deleted them. All right. <laughs> I'm getting better, right? I'm sorry. I've had a lot on my mind. If you could describe any of the gentlemen in one word, what would it be? <laughs> Bell end. <laughs> sorry, that was a bit harsh. I love you really. Gently swag. <laughs> I thought you were daddy swag. Um. So yeah, question one is a simple question, apparently. What's your favourite meme? Meme. Meme. What's your favourite meme? Oh, fuck it. I don't know, bro. What the fuck? Does run count? Like, run. Do, 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 do. I like the why are you running one. That's good. Uh, why Keck, are you actually, running? Keck W is probably my most used meme. I like... Anything. What What I... even is a meme, though? Like, if well... we're, like, properly defining it, can you consider a Twitch emote as a meme? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Because, um, I don't know, a meme to me is like a picture. Um, what about videos, though? Whoever submitted this, you said this I was a know. simple question. Look at this discussion you posed. One. You've got to define no. meme. What, what <laughs> classes is a meme? Because in my opinion, Twitch emotes aren't memes. For me, it has to be the one... I, I don't know how to explain it, where it's like... Um, it, it almost looks like a... a what's what looks like some sort of prince and princess or whatever and like they're looking at each other and it's kind of like you don't really think this is going to happen right right oh fucking Anakin and yeah. Padme that one. yeah yeah is that it yeah yeah that's the one. oh yeah another one yeah, yeah. that's I, the one I like I quite like the um I like the uh what was it fucking it was because basically, I like keeping on on top of the trend. Like, I'll I'll check a load of different places. Like, if it's a really obscure meme, I'm more into it. I kind of fall off with them quite quickly. Like, the jokes sort of run stale quite quick. But one that's lasted with me is the uh, the Sugon meme. Eh? <laughs> I don't think anyone's. <laughs> no, no, no. Look at our faces. Like, uh, what? You don't know. What... You don't know what the Sugon. Don't no. Know. Sugon my Su nuts. Sugon these nuts. Is that uh, actually it? 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my, yeah, my, yeah. my my favorite yeah. is has been and always will be these nuts. These nuts. What about candies? Ha! him. Have you heard of candies? Candies. Candies yeah. nuts. Candies nuts. Candies nuts. Yeah. Um. Cool. Next question. On a scale of one to ten, what's your favorite color of the alphabet? Nine. Mine has to be aubergine. Sausage. Okay. Mm. Okay, he's got to think long and hard about this one. Like Han cambiado los precios de subscription on Europa. Okay. Someone yeah. to be subscribed to him via Europe or some shape. Uh, well, I was, I was looking up uh, how the subscriber price has changed in Europe from English to Spanish for our European gentlefolk. <laughs> nice. And it was just still open. So I thought, fuck it, that's my answer. <laughs> Hamburguesa. Um, Next question. What animes have you all watched? It's Spirit of Away. It's Spirit uh, Away, yeah. Roro Gunzo oh, as well is amazing. Seven Deadly uh, Sins. Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer. With that annoying fuck, Zenitsu. Death Note. Can't Attack stand. on Titan. I've saw it, seen like half season one of that. But I watched oh, all of Death Note. Death um, Note's fantastic. Sword Art Online. I've watched season one and two. Yeah, season one and two. Haven't seen three. Uh, I there's a few more, well. I just can't remember the name of them, though. The more obscure ones. But the best website I used to use for them has gone down as well, so I can't watch it anymore. Oof. Was it called anawatch.me? It was really Another, good, but, but it's, it's just not existent well now. Docky got the tissues on hand, of course. Speaking of that, that's um, not when you just sneezing. The next question: um, What's the weirdest thing you've done at work, and why was that weird? Um, hmm. um, I don't know. Well, for me, I think <clears throat> it was when I hid pictures of a snail in really weird places, so that in years to come. They would just find a random picture of a snail with no context. That's casual. Fair. Um, I don't know. A, a lot of weird shit happens at, at my place. But today, in fact, we spent a solid five minutes making pig noises at one of my bosses <laughs> because he couldn't work out how to get the uh, like <laughs> sort of noise going on. Um, <laughs> But it was it was an Italian fellow trying to explain it to him, and my boss thought he meant as in like rolling his R's. So he was trying to he was just making like Ugh! sort of noises <laughs> trying to get that. Uh, so we were all doing it at him to show him how he's actually meant to do it. Um, it was a slow day today. Uh, we didn't have much. To do. Oh my god, that's brilliant. We just kind of <laughs> inhale and so you just sort of inhale and. Yeah, as soon as we did it, he got it. Do but then we were all doing with your mouth. Like, we can do this. We can all do this. Teamwork. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious, man. Team Teamwork. building exercise. Exactly. I exactly. You. I can't actually think of anything for myself. Mines would have to I'm be a, a game we used to play. Mm -hmm. And this game was called Find the Freddo. What I would mm -hmm. do is I would get a Freddo, like the wee chocolate frog. <laughs> And just, guess you hit it and, and, ju and just hide it somewhere in the shop. <laughs> wow. And then the, the other members of staff had to find this Freddo. The only rule was it had to be on the actual shop floor. Like it couldn't be through the back or like in a like in the back freezers or whatever. It had to be on the shop floor. Um so yeah, find the Freddo. So what if you get if you found it. Well, you got to then hide the Freddo. Oh, you don't get to eat it. That's fucking like shit. Yeah, it's the, it's the right of passage. You're just using the, the one Fred own, it just keeps getting manky and mouldy because you just yeah. keep using it you to hide it, it anymore. I do remember something else that I did at work that was really fucking uh, just just very odd, and I think it's still this is going to be like an admission if anyone does watch it. Uh, I managed to convince the entire like rest of the staff, other than the one guy I was telling the story about, that this guy that worked in the warehouse used to be in Bon Jovi, and everyone fucking bought it completely there was a whole backstory where he came 
he, he was in a Bon Jovi cover band and their bassist couldn't get into Europe because of drug charges. So he covered and then he ended up becoming a permanent member for a few years. And I told him about the story after I told a few people already. And he said, I'll play along. And he changed contacts in his phone to be John and Richie for John Bon Jovi and Richie Sambora. Like he was a fucking chief about it. And to this day, I haven't admitted that to anyone who I used to work with. So they all wow. still think they work with an old member of Bon Jovi. Wow. That's incredible. Yeah, boy. I think you win that one. Definitely. <laughs> um, I suppose oh, that's the best time to move on, I guess. Um, <laughs> if you were a guitar, what kind would you be and why? And this is from Daddy Yeetus. Oh. Eight string, because gent. This boy right here. I would this probably exactly... have to be one of Steve Vai's Ibanez's. I just love the look and the sound of them. The gems are beautiful. Do you want to get fingered by Steve Vai? Is Hell that yeah. I want to be fingered by Herman Lee. Oof. I would be an eight-string guitar. A bit like Barry Delive's guitar. You know that one that like glows in the dark and he's got oh, a you get fingered on by it. Charles Caswell, you'll die. Yeah. That sort of thing. The way he plays that fucking guitar. Jesus. He uses all his fingers, not just to the left hand. Mm -hmm. As one or two on his right, he uses all his fingers. He's using his face next, probably as well. I mean, to be fair, Herman Lee does use his tongue as well, so that's probably beneficial. Um, if, yeah. There you go. Cool. Next question. Um, with all the new music coming out, what's your favorite release of the year so far? It's between three different albums okay, for me. Hmm. I'm going to have to have a look on my phone. Darker US music. is my current album of the year. Fair enough, man. Fair uh, enough. Mm. I'd have to say... Although it's Spirit Box next month, so... <laughs> could change. Black Country New Road for the first time. Um, dry Cleaning. Everyday Car... No, New Long Leg, sorry. And uh, Dave's We're All Alone Together. Oh, those are my top three at the minute. So at the moment... Probably the best one is Liquid Tension Experiment 3. That's probably the best one. Then you've got Gojira Fortitude as well, which is pretty cool. Um, any others? I guess Born of Osiris, Angel Eye Alien. That's, oh, that's good that's album, probably yeah. been my top three so far. We've also got the Mixed Grape by Buried Alive as well, mm. which is okay. It's alright, the Mixed Grape. I'll be honest, right. I've not really listened to many albums this year, if any. Uh, Just wait till uh, I think it's next week. New Dawn Ashore EP. Ooh. Don't we also have um, Colors 2 from Between the Buried and Me coming out soon as well? About two weeks, I think. I saw on Twitter earlier. Yeah, I think two weeks. Some good stuff coming. Probably new Polyphia at some point. Ooh. I've heard there's new Megadeth coming as well. Um, the small sample I heard, it did sound pretty good. Um, well, I don't listen to Megadeth outside of Clone Hero. Fair. The new on one the really. song was a bit weird. I don't know if you heard that. It's called Candyland. No. They've gone kind of down like a a pop sort of path and processed. Oh, okay. So it's a bit like Polyphia, but with lyrics. A bit weird. I know you sent me that. I've still actually listened to it. Yeah, it's a weird one. I'm not sure what I think about it. Uh. Next question. Will there be a meetup in the future once Rona is truly over? Denny's. I imagine so, yeah. Possibly. I hope so. I hope so. Um, 100%. I only recently actually met Ed for the very first time um, after Lee introduced me to Ed, what, over a year ago now? Something like that, yeah. Uh, and now he's with one of my best friends. <laughs> Lol. Oh, then. Oh, okay. Um, you don't tell me shit. <laughs> does he not? Oh, right. yeah. They they got okay. their own. They got their own hotel room. I kind of just stayed at mine. I didn't want to intrude. Um, <laughs> so yeah, hopefully there will be a meetup of some kind. Um, and who knows, we might try and meet some of you guys as well. And have you know. a hotel room for all of us. <laughs> I thought you were going to say someone else there. Um, <laughs> if you were to go on holiday, where would you like to go? 
Japan. Probably answered that in a previous one, I think. Yeah. For me, it would be California in the US. I'd probably... There's a lot of places I want to go, but at the minute I'd really like to go to a... There's a town in Spain that I, I've been before that I really liked called Estepona. Um, it was at the perfect midpoint between suitable for tourists and still true to itself. So mm. it's a very, very nice vibe there. Very, very traditional. I'd probably go back there. I would like to go to America as well. I've actually been anywhere in America. Um, I wanted to go to New York when I was a kid because my parents went a couple of times. Uh, ever since then, I've always wanted to go, but I'm not sure if necessarily New York would be the move or somewhere New York else in the is, US. is very, very cool. I, yeah. I had a great time in New York. There's a lot of places I dream of going, to be honest. When they say it's the city that never sleeps, it really does never sleep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like you'll, you'll look out the window on like a in, in like a high rise skyscraper at like two AM in the morning and people will still be down there walking around just casually yeah. as if it was four in the afternoon. Yeah, Edinburgh, cool. Edinburgh can be like that during the festival sometimes. Like it's it's nuts how busy yeah. Edinburgh can be. Um for such a small city in comparison to the likes of London, New York, that kind of thing. Um, it gets pretty busy this time of the year. Um, but yeah. The next question I kind of like a lot. Which one of you would win in a fight with a bear? No, none of us. Well, but it depends. If, if there had to be one Hang of on us. A minute. Hang on. If, if we're all fighting the bear at the time... No, if we're if we're each fighting a bear, so there's four bears and there's four of us, and we're like distant apart, so no bears can like gang up on us or anything like that. Well, I'd be the first one to die. I, yeah, I don't see any of us winning that. I'm sorry. I'm gonna speak for everyone here and say we're all dying. <laughs> but, however, if it's all four of us against one bear at the same time, I have a chance. you know what they say about bears: you don't have to outrun the bear. You just have to like run your friends. So, <laughs> Leave one as bait. Exactly. Who would be the bait then? Well, I mean, so, Kay's probably I mean, got the shortest legs, so he's most likely to be fucked. So. <laughs> to be fair, I would probably just try to be the bait. With I'd, I'd just be like, Listen, bud, like, you don't got to do this. You know, you, you're big, you're cute, you're fluffy. I like fluffy things. And, you know, at that point, I'm probably already half mole. So. Yeah. But I try, you know. It's the effort. You don't have to you don't know. I mean, when was the last time you heard of someone reasoning with a bear and dying? You don't know if they ever tried reasoning with it. Maybe that's what True. people need to do. Uh, who, who's who's the, the kids in Winnie the Pooh? Summon Robinson. Uh, Christopher Robin. Yeah, him. Yeah, exactly. You know? So it's doable. It reminds me of, uh, of that, that movie I used to watch a lot of as a kid, where um, he says he's got to go to Skull and, uh, you know, they were like, all terrified, but he actually meant school. They just misheard him as Skull. Fair. <laughs> Sounds like a conversation with Donkey. And they want to look a mad adventure to try and save him from a Skull. Hey, man, I'm just going to do Skull. Yeah. <gasps> he said no, Skull! <laughs> <laughs> That's literally what it was. I can't remember what it was, but it was, it was amazing. Fair play. Next one. What's your favourite song to play on Clone Hero? There's this one really I think it's called the Appery of Existence or something. It's kind of I think it's kind of unknown, but it's a fun, strummy, shreddy song to just play as a warm up. It's one I usually always go to to warm up with. Hmm. I don't know I'm like, putting my own horn, but buried alive medley rejamified. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I find it fun. fun. It, it's it's tough for some people, but I like when you get used to it and you learn it a bit, it, it gets really fun just cool to play i know mines is definitely not ashes of the dawn um <laughs> it's dead rose right just, i would say it is between two songs between dead rose charted by xantor hands down his best chart in my opinion yes. um it's fun to play and it's very well charted blood orange is pretty fucking great as well um oh, nice. so it's between dead rose and the hiromi solo medley i don't know why i just really love that that's a lot of fun. I used to like warming up with the Underworld sort of medley as well. That's, That's a, pretty a very sick. fun one to play. Yeah. Warm and fun. Time Only record Dragon is also really fun. 
I like FC Ashes of the Dawn when Doki's watching. <laughs> <laughs> My plan is to get Ashes at 105 because recently Doki posted an FC of Holy Mountain 105. Well, I just wanted to FC. Speaking of that, Ashes 105 just to kind of meme on him for that. I actually got Holy Mountain at 110 the other day. The FC. No. Oh, no cool. pauses, just one straight playthrough. 4,202 notes. I'm going to go get Ashes at 150. I, I think I actually got a minus five or something on Holy Mountain the other day. And I only paused once, and that was in the gap between the two massive strumming bits. Mm. I hate playing that song. It is horrible, but Froster makes me play it. It's fine. <laughs> As I said See to my chat... Like, I'd been wanking a lot that week, so that probably helped, to be honest. Um, yeah. Should have been doing Jenkin instead. What? <laughs> Should have been doing Jenkin instead. I don't oh, know, I know what that is. Um, <laughs> also, that's for you guys to find out if I'm lying or not. Um, I don't don't actually find out. Um, Kay, what's your favourite chart? <laughs> um, I I quite like... <laughs> Uh, Kindred Will by the band Telomere, charted by Nicholas. Um, I'm also a big fan of the... I can't remember who... I think it's Jarvis who charted it. It's Cut by Hidden Machine. Mm. Well, like that's the, a very, very The chart. Pokemon yeah. Is it TM yeah, yeah, yeah. album or the HM album? HM album, yeah. yeah. yeah the, There's the actually one cut. I forgot um, to mention, actually, and that's Fairy Tale, charted oh, by Chow. No. Fuck it. No. Oh, no. no. I find that fun. Question, How did it's... you FC that? Like on a reel? You gotta learn it. You just gotta learn it. There's there's like one really awkward bit of that of that chart, and it's where it's the chord. It's like the the red orange chord, which you then hammer on the blue to, and then there's like the green yellow chord, and then the red blue chord, da, 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 in really quick succession. Yeah. If you can get the tightness of that sorted, if you can work out how to hit that really And tight. repeat it about 20 times. Yeah, if you can get consistent at it, it's not terribly bad. But it's it's actually learning to hit it because it's really specific and tight. No. I almost did it at 125 as well. Damn. Almost. Hogging. No. The last question before we leave you and go raid mm -hmm. Lee because Lee That's is streaming. Better be a good one. When you grow up, what would you like to become? Now, obviously, we're we're all in our twenties, so I'm not going to say where do you see yourself when you're thirty because that is far too close for me. So we're going to say forty, right? Mm -hmm. When you're forty, where would you like? To see yourself. I know I'm twisting this question a bit, but when you're 40, where would you like to see yourself? And don't say six feet under, because that's my choice. Um, that was so uh, it will be Ninja 2. I'd like to be doing content creation like, full time. I'd, I'd hope I'd be at that point, but who knows? I mean, that's fucking 16 years away. I don't know what stuff's going to be like then. It's 12 it's years away be for me. Viable. <laughs> it probably will be more viable. I don't know, but it's, that's fucked. it's hard to know what this whole Twitch, YouTube shit's going to be like in that long, you know? Mm. I mean, you never know, like, next year they might really clamp down on DMCA or whatever. Yeah, exactly. We might not be able to play Clone Year at all. That's never why know. you should be diversifying already. Mm-hmm. Like, least That's what I've got my new PC. Yeah. That'd be good. Also, I, I just had a thought, guys, like, and that's why I kind of reacted like that. I'm 40 in 12 years' time. Oof. What the fuck? Oldest man on Twitch. I'll be honest. I have said <laughs> that I want to be retired. Sorry. I want to be able to financially retire by the time I'm 40. So you don't look as old as you say you are. Oh, no. I know. And if we hit yeah, the charity well, goal, I'll if, say that. If we hit the charity goal, um, this beard is coming off. Ooh, mega young dog. Just so you know, it is three grand. That is the big target. Mm -hmm. But if we Pay hit money. three grand, I will shave all of this beard off live. 
So, yeah. But yeah, by the time I'm 40, I want to be financially stable enough to be able to retire. I won't retire because I'll be bored in my mind, but I want to be able to retire by the time I'm 40. I'm just going to be like one of those classic like rock stars where they're just going to keep playing until they like die on stage, whatever. Because some of them do that, they'll just like I'll I'll just keep playing no matter what happens, just keep doing it until I die on stage doing it. I think that'd be a pretty cool way to go. You'd make the Reddit front page for that if you died on stream. <laughs> All that matters. I mean, it kind of breaks yeah. Twitch TOS, so like. Oh yeah, that's right. Breaking Twitch, Twitch TOS by dying. <laughs> I mean, you nothing you're, you can do about that. Your channel oh, will no, get banned. banned. Like, no. what are you gonna do now? <laughs> okay, what about yourself? Well, you can't buddy? help it. It's not like you're gonna be able to fight it. It's not like it's gonna <laughs> matter if your Twitch channel gets banned. Get out from your grave, like what the fuck are you doing? At least appeal. At least appeal the band. Come on. <laughs> uh, now, myself, I I just want to be comfortable. Yeah, I just yeah, want to be yeah. comfortable. Like take whatever's getting th getting thrown at me, but as long as I'm comfy, I'm happy. That's probably the nicest answer of them all. Yeah, and not only the nicest answer, probably the most but realistic. The nicest time to head off. Well, there's that so, as well, but it's probably yeah. the more most realistic. In all honesty, to head off. Stream because it's the end. Yeah, a nice way to end. It was a lovely way to end. It was cute. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. We're about to go raid Lee. <laughs> um, if you missed the stream and are just heading in now, it'll be on YouTube tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully. Um, and on that note, we're gonna have K play us out. Play, play something DMCA free. Oh, hang on. Play like a riff that we know, but play it with like two notes swapped around or like a oh. bit wrong on purpose. Oh no, I already know what I'm playing for you boys. You ready for this? Yeah. Okay, Are you fucking on, ready? Listen. Let's go! <laughs> Goodbye! Goodbye.